Hello everyone, welcome to this video on keeping a food diary for weight loss. If you're looking to shed some extra pounds, you're in the right place. Keeping a food diary is a simple yet effective way to keep track of your eating habits and make informed decisions about your diet. In this video, I'll be sharing with you 10 helpful tips on keeping a food diary for weight loss. By the end of this video, you'll have a good understanding of how to keep a food diary and use it as a tool to reach your weight loss goals. So, without further ado, let's dive into the content. 1. Keeping track of what you eat and drink is a simple yet effective way to improve your overall health and wellness. By writing down everything you consume, you become more mindful of what you're putting into your body and can make informed decisions about your diet. When you keep a food diary, you can easily identify areas where you may be consuming too many calories or lacking in important nutrients. Additionally, tracking your food intake can help you stay accountable and motivated on your weight loss journey. So why not give it a try? Start keeping a food diary today and see how it can help you make positive changes in your diet and lifestyle. 2. One of the most important aspects of keeping a food diary is recording the portion size, calorie count, and nutritional information of the foods you consume. This information is crucial for making informed decisions about your diet and ensuring that you are meeting your nutritional needs. By tracking your portion sizes, you can avoid overeating and consuming more calories than your body needs. Additionally, recording the calorie count of your meals can help you stay within your daily calorie budget and support weight loss. Finally, keeping track of the nutritional information of the foods you consume can help you ensure that you are getting enough of important nutrients like protein, fiber, vitamins, and minerals. So, make sure to record these important details in your food diary to make the most of this helpful tool for your health and wellness. 3. Using a mobile app or online tool to keep track of your food diary can make the process much easier and more convenient. These tools are designed to help you easily log your meals and calculate your calorie intake, which can save you time and effort compared to manually tracking your food intake. Additionally, many of these apps and tools offer features like barcode scanning, meal planning, and progress tracking, which can make it easier to stay on top of your diet and reach your weight loss goals. Some popular examples of these tools include MyFitnessPal, LoseIt, and Chronometer. So, if you're looking for a more streamlined and user-friendly way to keep track of your food diary, consider using a mobile app or online tool. 4. Consistency is key when it comes to keeping a food diary. To get the most out of this helpful tool for weight loss, it's important to try and log every meal, snack, and beverage you consume every day. By doing this, you can get a clear picture of your overall eating habits and identify areas where you may need to make adjustments. Additionally, Logging your food intake consistently can help you stay accountable and motivated on your weight loss journey. Remember, even if you slip up and indulge in a treat or miss logging a meal, don't let that discourage you from continuing to use your food diary. Every entry counts, and the more consistent you are, the more effective this tool will be for helping you reach your goals. So, make it a habit to log your food intake every day, and you'll be well on your way to achieving a healthier, happier you. 5. When keeping a food diary, it's important to include any condiments, sauces, or dressings you use in your meals. These items can often contain hidden calories that can add up quickly and sabotage your weight loss efforts. For example, a tablespoon of mayonnaise can contain around 90 calories, and a serving of salad dressing can contain up to 150 calories or more. By tracking these items in your food diary, you can get a more accurate picture of your overall calorie intake and make informed decisions about what to include in your meals. Additionally, you can look for lower calorie alternatives or use these items in moderation to reduce your overall calorie intake. So, don't forget to include condiments, sauces, and dressings in your food diary to help you reach your weight loss goals. 6. Paying attention to your hunger and fullness levels is another important aspect of keeping a food diary. By tuning into your body's signals, you can identify patterns in your eating habits and make adjustments accordingly. For example, if you find yourself frequently overeating and feeling uncomfortably full, you may need to slow down and pay closer attention to your fullness cues. On the other hand, if you often skip meals and find yourself feeling overly hungry, you may need to prioritize more consistent mealtimes and snacks throughout the day. 
By being mindful of your hunger and fullness levels, you can make more intentional choices about what, when, and how much you eat. Additionally, paying attention to your body's signals can help you develop a more positive and balanced relationship with food. So, make sure to note your hunger and fullness levels in your food diary to help you make informed decisions about your diet and improve your overall health and wellness. 7. Sharing your food diary with a friend or family member can be a great way to stay accountable and receive support on your weight loss journey. When you share your food diary, you're not only opening up about your eating habits but also inviting someone to join you on your journey towards a healthier lifestyle. This can help you stay motivated and on track, especially on days when you may feel tempted to indulge or give up on your goals. Additionally, having a friend or family member to share your progress with can be a great source of encouragement and support. They can offer helpful tips, provide accountability, and celebrate your successes along the way. So, if you feel comfortable, consider sharing your food diary with someone you trust to help you on your weight loss journey. 8. Don't be too hard on yourself if you slip up and indulge in a treat. Use your food diary as a learning tool and make adjustments for the future. It's important to remember that slipping up and indulging in a treat is a normal part of the weight loss journey. Don't be too hard on yourself if you make a mistake or go off track for a meal or a day. Instead, use your food diary as a learning tool and make adjustments for the future. For example, if you find yourself consistently reaching for unhealthy snacks in the afternoon, you may need to plan for a healthier snack option or adjust your lunchtime meal to better satisfy your hunger. By identifying patterns in your eating habits and using your food diary to make adjustments, you can stay on track towards your weight loss goals. Additionally, it's important to remember that a healthy lifestyle is about balance and moderation, not perfection. So, don't let one slip up derail your progress. Keep using your food diary, stay mindful of your choices, and celebrate your successes along the way. 9. Taking note of any triggers that cause you to overeat or indulge in unhealthy foods is a key part of keeping a food diary. By identifying these triggers, you can make lifestyle changes that support your weight loss goals. For example, if you notice that you tend to snack when you're stressed or bored, you can look for alternative ways to manage these emotions, such as going for a walk or practicing mindfulness meditation. If you find that you're more likely to indulge in unhealthy foods when eating out with friends, you can plan ahead by checking the restaurant menu ahead of time and choosing a healthier option. By identifying and addressing these triggers, you can create a more supportive environment for weight loss and make sustainable changes that will benefit your overall health and well-being. So, make sure to take note of any triggers in your food diary and use this information to make informed decisions about your diet and lifestyle. 10. Keeping a food diary is an important tool for weight loss, but it's not the only one. It's important to remember that weight loss and overall health require a multifaceted approach. In addition to tracking your food intake, be sure to focus on regular exercise, adequate sleep, and stress management. Exercise can help you burn calories, build muscle, and improve your overall health and fitness. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise most days of the week. Getting adequate sleep is also crucial for weight loss and overall health. Lack of sleep can disrupt hormones that regulate appetite and metabolism, leading to weight gain and other health problems. Aim for at least 7 to 8 hours of sleep per night. Finally, stress management is important for overall health and well-being. Chronic stress can lead to weight gain and other health problems. Explore different techniques such as meditation, yoga, or deep breathing to manage stress levels. By focusing on these areas of your life, in addition to keeping a food diary, you'll be able to achieve a more balanced and sustainable approach to weight loss and overall health. And that's it for today's video on keeping a food diary for weight loss. I hope you found these tips helpful and feel inspired to start keeping a food diary of your own. Remember, consistency is key. By staying consistent with your food diary and making small adjustments to your diet over time, you can achieve your weight loss goals and improve your overall health and wellness. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos on health and fitness. See you in the next one.